I got some books from eBay, whatnot, and hipcomics.com. Stick around to see what I got. What's good, Spec Nation? Empire Comics here. I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the books I ordered online over the last 10 days or so. We got some from eBay, some from whatnot, and some from this new site I've been buying from hipcomics.com. But first, if you like hunting for low budget keys, weekly combo calls, CGC unboxings, and new combo day spec buys, then click subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into these books. So basically, I think these are my uh, 80s, 90s properties that I've been getting. So basically, I think these are my 80s, 90s properties that I've been uh, collecting over the year. I kind of slowed down a little bit because I got caught up in speculating for the MCU and I lost sight of my goals for 2021, which is my wish list, my SM Grail run, collecting the first appearance or the number one issue of the 80s properties that I grew up as a kid from cartoons, toys, TV shows, and movies, etc. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this one first because I already opened it. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw how this came packaged. No real bag and board, just like this. Look, I'm sorry, but this is not the correct way to ship comic books. I mean, when I got it in my mailbox, it was all folded. Look at all these creases on here now. But anyways, let's uh, open this up. What the fuck? Oh my God. All right, we got Eek the Cat number one. Again, like I said, this is going to my 80s, 90s properties. This was released in 1994 by Hamilton. It's based off the animated series that ran from 92 to 97 on Fox Kids every Saturday morning. All right, now the next one. Yeah. Hey. All right, the first one I got is Cadillac and Dinosaurs, and it's from Marvel Epic Line. The comic was released in 1990, and then an animated series was released for one season in 1992. All right, the next one I got is Spider-Man Volume 1, Issue 21. This has the first appearance of Spidey with this Deathlock look uh, costume that he got here. All right. Okay. All right, the next one is Mask Issue 1. This was by DC Comics, released in 1985. And also had an animated series that was off for two seasons between 85 and 86. All right, let's jump into the next one. Let's see what we got. I'll open this up here. This one's from Whatnot. Oh, man, he gave me a free book. I'll show you the free book first. It's Spectacular Spider-Man Annual 10. What could be worse than falling into the microverse? That's pretty cool. And here's the book that I purchased. This goes towards my ASM run. It's Amazing Spider-Man 322 by artwork by Todd McFarlane. See that there? All right, let's get the next one. Okay. These are two more to my uh, 80s, 90s property. I don't know how many of you guys are gonna remember this one. This is a... Uh, Kissy Fur by DC Comics in 1989. It was an animated series that played for two seasons in between 86 and 88. And then I have one of my favorite animated series when I was a kid, Camp Candy issue one. It was released by Marvel Comics in 1990. It's based off the animated series that played for three seasons between 89 and 90. And then it went into syndication in the mid nineties. All right, let's get to the next one. Oh man, All right, this is GoBots issue one. This came out in 2018. Um, it's based off the animated series from the 80s. If you grew up in the 80s, you know about the GoBots, unless you were living on the rock. GoBots was like the no frills B version of the Transformers when I was growing up. I loved the cartoon, which ran from 83 to 87, and I had the toys, so of course I had to grab this one. All right, this last one here, let's see what this is. All right, we have Marvel Boy issue five. That has the first appearance of the Aspirants. I believe that's how you pronounce it. They are celestial beings that were created by the first firmament. And at one point they went into war with the Celestials. We know the Celestials are coming in Eternals. Are we gonna see the Aspirants? Who knows, maybe, maybe in the future. But for $3, I think it's a good spec. So I got three of them. All right, guys, that's all the books I have for this haul. Thanks for sticking to the end. Let me know what you thought about the books in the comments below. Did any of you have these action figures or watch the cartoons growing up? And if there's any more that you remember, leave a comment below. I have a few more of these 80s, 90s properties books coming in this week. I'll put a video up next week on that. I'm really trying to knock out all the ones I wanted within the next few weeks. So fingers crossed that I can do that. All right, y'all, we know how we do. Keep specking. Later.